Hello guys, this is Oxman, gonna bring you another Armour 2 video, this is footage from the game, I'm going to preview some stuff for you, and um, hopefully after this you, you'll uh, like the UN, because the category for today is the UN, so basically I've put down a range, some targets, just for fun, um, what I'm gonna walk through is the Cherno Russian Defence Force, or the UN. In the new game, it's called the UN, but otherwise it's CDF. So what we have here is mainly UN stuff, and they don't have that big of an arsenal. Um, I have added the T72 from the Shiraki because it's I don't know. I just need a tank to blow shit up, and then we have the BMT, BMP2, and the M113. Those are the vehicles with actual guns on them. We have a UAZ and a SUV and a Euro as cars. Then we have the Cord um, machine gun. I think that is, well, the Russian massive 50 cal thing. The AGS-30, so that's a grenade launcher. And then we have the basic basic weapons of the UN. And uh, we're going to try them um, all out. So, <clears throat> it's also a preview for the actual sounds that come into the game when using JSRS and the effects of War FX. So um, yeah, so it's both a preview of the add-ons themselves and the game weapons. So let's sit here and uh, shoot some targets. So nice sound. So you can see the recoil if you hold it in. We'll end up here. I usually just dot like semi. So that's nice. That's a tutorial for you. Don't spray when you if you even if you can. Doesn't really work. If I sprayed, I wouldn't hit anything. So um <coughs> let's walk down the line. I'm not sure why I didn't get any grenades out of that one. Oh, there's not even. That sucks. Give me some uh, AG, GP. Oh, that sucks. Okay, maybe the UN is not. I don't know. <laughs> They're not allowed to use grenades in their weapons. So, let's try this. This is the AKM, the old one. The old AK, as everyone knows. It. And just because it's not used by professionals, it's 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 supposed to be used in full order. So that's good. Wasted ammo. Um, let's see. Let the AKS-74 PSU. It's only a sight on it. It's a little. You could almost call it an ACOG, but it's kind of longer range than that. The AKS, the um, it's an assault rifle, but still a submachine gun. The uh, Bullets is 545 So it's definitely not a 9mm uh, or 45 like the SMGs. So it's an assault rifle. Compact one indeed. This is mainly used for tank crews and pilots in the game. And uh, that's just the original. They don't really use weapons unless they crash and stuff. But it's good for self defense. Nice sounds. Can't live without them. And now uh, we come to the big stuff. The PKM. This is a machine gun everyone knows. Let's use it. Sadly the grass sucks, so let's move it. And yeah, that's a very nice weapon. I like the PKM and the new sounds. And oh, my lord, let's jump over that one and take that one in the last. You'll you'll get that eventually. So hang on. Here's the RPK. AK with a drum magazine. That is 
nice. I love the sounds. It's just amazing. JSRS mod I've done so much for us and I don't know, can't live without it. If you hear if you listen after this one shot and listen at the background. Don't listen to the actual you know, initial fire. It doesn't change much. Let's listen to it. You hear that? That's awesome. <laughs> the echo. Sound traveling away. So, we have a macro as well. Grenades. And, of course, yours truly, the RPG-7. So, screw the Dragonov and pick me a GP RPG. Well, let's go. We have five RPGs. Oh, my God. So, let's try out the macro first, then. Just to make you wait a little more. Macro. Pistol. I don't know. It just feels like very ver worthless because it's a small shitty gun. Maybe for maybe used by James Bond, but definitely not my military forces. I wouldn't. So let's move to the RPG. That is a huge gun. Oh. <laughs> so let's use it. That target right there. Firing. Yes, that's nice. I missed the target though. <laughs> there we go. A hit. So let's try and b blow up a building. <laughs> and those are the explosion from war effects. And those things that come out of the explosions I cannot live without. That is nice. Now we've tried all the weapons that the UN covers, so we are going to move to oh, remove the pistol, you fool, and throw grenades. And you can see the grenades on target, and then that one. They bounce too much in the original game, so. <laughs> so here we go, the AGS, the grenade launcher. This is some, some serious stuff. Don't think this, this is something to underestimate, because this thing, if it's in the hands of the AI, it can do some serious hurt. Here we have the cord, the, uh, I think it's a 50 cal or 12.7 millimeter gun. That thing hurts. And there uh, you can see that. It eats through ammo quick, but just a 50, 50 round um, uh, belt or box. So probably in, used in bursts. But this thing, I mean, this could be a triple A. I mean, the efficiency that this takes out a helicopter. That's good. <laughs> I mean, uh, I could take out a helicopter with with this thing and just shoot at just the engines and it would be screwed. And uh, there's a lot of people that have actually done that, shooting down Chinooks with uh, 50 counts. And this could be just like that. So that's one of the static, there's two static weapons. There is of course the mortar, which is the Podnos. Um, but I don't think, I'm not sure if the UN uses that. The Shiraki, or the Russians definitely do. Shadak is a insurgency group, if you didn't know, and uh, that I will show you later. So, first of all, I'm going to show you the engine sounds from JSRS. And you can hear that, uh, it's beautiful, compared to the normal stuff made by this. So let's get into the gunner and fire away some HG rounds. Let's start with the uh, PKT. So it's almost like the PKM we fired before. And we have a Conkers. It's aiming on that target there. So it's basically almost like a laser guide. I think it's TV guide there. So let's try the 300 RPM HE rounds. 
I even get some lag. That's amazing. Uh, it's that powerful. And here you can see the bullets actually bounce. Sometimes. <laughs> That is nice. So, of course, the AP rounds can do some hurt too. But it's not the same. And I can... I, my FPS drops using this thing. That's uh, new. But I think I have the full... Uh, I have everything on full right now. HDR and objects and stuff. And there's the normal M250 gun. Or 50 caliber. This does have a box of 50 rounds. So it's... It does have a... I don't know, better suppression rate than the cord. However, the cord is, I don't know. The rate of fire is bigger, I think. <laughs> I've never compared the two, but I do like the M2. Big weapon. I know you can hear the sound of the engines. Oops. So the last but not least, probably the biggest, is the T-72, which is a very nice thing. It does have a PKT, like the uh, M2, or the BMP-2. That is so nice, I love that. And then we have the D-81 cannon. Massive stuff. So we have a 300 meter target, our searing is 600, so it should be go straight. Let's do that. Bam. Oh, shit. Just disappeared. Another round. We have 340, so it should be on there. Bam. Just disappears. Let's load an HE round and fire off that last cannon. Use third person. That is nice. So there you have it, this is the UN stuff, and um, here's the awesome uniform with the blue, blue, um, da -da -da, hat, not hat, I don't know what it's called, I don't remember. Here's the Euro, the original truck, nothing new about that one, the SUV and the USZ. They're all covered in UN markings, but, and they're white, so that's everything that's, um, don't know, good about them. So um, everything is white in white is UN except the weapons and um, yeah that concludes the uh, preview of the UN forces. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, please like it and subscribe to my channel and I'll be continuing this series and go through all the different factions inside the game including the US Marine Corps, the US Army, the Russian Army, the Pakistani Army and so on and so on. So, um, yeah, stay tuned for that. Talk to you now.